strawberries are quite an emotive fruit. What does a strawberry mean to you? Carrying too many after pick your own. Wimbledon, fizzing in a glass of champagne. Mm, like that one. Cream teas. For me, it's quite simple. It's the moment every year where I pick a strawberry and taste it and it's perfect. And then that is the ultimate moment of summer. A lot of time and effort has gone into creating the strawberries we buy today. They're often grown in polytunnels to protect the precious fruit and raised off the ground to make picking easier. After decades of selective breeding, commercial strawberry plants produce large quantities of fruit which are consistent in colour, size and shape. Look at this. Absolutely perfect. But when it comes to creating the super strawberry, do you think there's a chance that we've sacrificed taste for beauty? Possibly. But there's one strawberry that's bucking that trend. It's closer to its tasty but petite ancestor, the wild strawberry. It's grown purely for its taste, sacrificing size and strength. This is very rare little scarlet strawberry. Now, you know the saying, it's not the size that counts. Well, ignore its diminutive size because this strawberry is packed with flavor. But compared to the robust modern strawberry, growing the little scarlet provides the manager at Tiptree's farm, Chris Newnham, with a challenge. Can I taste one? Please. What's this? Find out what all the fuss is about. So it's really intense. It's it's fantastic. There's nothing there's nothing to beat it. It's like a sweet. I mean, it's absolutely intense strawberry, isn't it? Yeah, very 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 different to any modern strawberry. So why is it so rare? Why do so few people grow it? It's difficult to coax into life in the in the first place. It's subject to the vagaries of the weather. And then it, it, the final nail in the coffin, if you like, is that it's, it's extraordinarily difficult to pick. I mean, it, it's, what, a, a tenth of the size of, of uh, some of the modern strawberries? Yeah. So very, very slow, painful to pick. If you don't mind me saying so, it sounds like a farmer's worst nightmare. Why do you bother? Because we're gluttons for punishment. It's just fantastic. It's unique. There's nothing else like it. So why wouldn't we want to carry on growing it? Well, because it is kind of the ugly duckling of the strawberries, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a little gem. <laughs> <laughs> little scarlets were first grown here over a century ago. Then, local villagers would flock to the fields to help with the harvest. Today, 128 years on, a small army of pickers has kept up the tradition. So the joy of harvest is absolutely in action here. So can I join them? Is it, is it possible for me to have a go or do you have to no, do it? We'd be thrilled for you to have a go. We need to have you whistling constantly because then we know you're working to your best. Whistling? Why do I need to whistle? Try eating and whistling at the same time. Oh, okay. So this is the kind of plan to make sure no one eats the strawberries at the same time. Absolutely. <laughs> Protecting our investment. No. These incredibly fragile fruits grow best on the ground as nature intended and need to be picked slowly with experienced but patient hands. Many of the harvesters are holiday makers who have been coming back for years during the strawberry picking season. We come down on the 2nd of June. Then we meet Eileen Dennis, they come down on the 1st of June. And we meet Shirley and Jim. All right, Jim? I live in Portugal, so I find it very cute. We don't meet in the year. You don't? No, do we? Just meet strawberry picking, but it's like we've never left them. How old are you? Two. See, and you're sledding between strawberries. What? This is a seat in the world of seats, this one. Oh, I'm fully mobile. It's very good. Let's see your hands. Everyone's got stained red hands. It does come off with you. Dynamite. Chris said that we were meant to be whistling, so we didn't fill our mouths with strawberries. How many of you eat them this morning? None. Do you ever eat them? Yeah, when there's some big ones. Anyway. So 
what makes this so special? It's the taste. It's a very special taste. It's, it's so strawberry. Really? You know, it's so strawberry. Yeah. Just taste it. You never taste anything like it. It's really lovely. The strawberries are so delicate that they don't transport well enough to be sold in punnets. So the only way this delicious fruit can make it to market is as jam. From the moment they're picked, they're already starting to lose their shape and disintegrate. And the point of this special jam is that it has the whole fruit in them. So from the moment they're picked, the race is on to get them jammed by the end of the day. strawberries end up in the factory. First thing that hits you is actually the smell. It's a really sweet, strawberry, intense smell. As soon as they arrive, the strawberries are washed and inspected for unwanted greenery. I'm getting a bit motion sickness. We say to anybody new on the belt, try and just concentrate on the little bit in front of you. Who knew this would be so challenging? When 70 kilograms of only the very best little scarlets have been cleaned and weighed out, they're ready for the boiling chamber next door. Sugar syrup is added to the mix, and in a little over 10 minutes, each one of these cauldrons can produce hundreds of jars of jam, which are then sold all around the world. And the man responsible for tasting every single batch is factory controller Walter Scott. Oh. That pop is our champagne pop. So you know you've made it, you've finished when you get that pop. Whole strawberries in there. Lots of whole little strawberries. Is it worth it then? The next taste will tell us. Oh, it's lovely. It is, isn't it? The texture is really nice. It's like a special part of England, isn't it? Preserved yeah. oh, yes, in that jam. We're the only ones that grow this fruit commercially. So once the crop's gone, it's gone. Now in this day and age, that's quite difficult to explain to our, some of our customers who say, we'll go and get some more. But um, say, no, I'm sorry, but we've run out. There is no more till next year. And what about you? Do you stop piling? I have a secret stash. I do. That's it. I'm not telling.